What is up everyone, Base the Luke here with another Genshin Impact video. The Luke is usually considered as a character that is fairly straightforward to build. Most people will run a pyro goblet, a crit damage or crit rate circlet, along with an attack percent time piece. However, in the current state of the endgame, the Luke will absolutely need a vaporize or melt comp to raise his damage ceiling. The output of this elemental damage is heavily influenced by the Luke's attack and crit damage, but it can also be topped with the elemental mastery multiplier. Knowing that attack stats have diminishing returns in the late game, is it better to have EM on your sands? Today, we're going to try to answer this question by establishing whether you should use elemental mastery or attack percent as the main stat of your timepiece. Before getting into the damage showcase, let me show you guys the differences between both builds that I made. As you can see here, the attack build obviously has more attack with a 255 difference. And as expected, the elemental mastery build has much higher EM with a difference of 130. Keeping in mind that the elemental mastery will add a multiplier on top of certain elemental reactions, in this case, the elemental mastery build will have a 38.7% increase on melt and vaporize procs, while the attack build will only have 17.8%. For the rest of the stats, the attack build has slightly more crit rate, crit damage, and energy recharge that may give it some kind of head start. For the showcase, I will use the Wolf's Gravestone, which definitely makes it easier to keep a reasonable amount of attack when switching to elemental mastery. So just a quick disclaimer that those are advanced slash endgame builds and you may have different results based on your personal stat and the weapon you use. With that out of the way, let's see the numbers. Alright, so after looking at the differences between both builds, it is clear to me that my Deluxe strongly benefits from the increased on melt and vaporize damage provided by the EM timepiece. This shows how valuable elemental mastery can be, both as a substat and a main stat. I personally was not expecting such a big difference, especially considering that the attack build is slightly more crit damage. For the first swing of his skill without any reactions, the attack build was an obvious win. However, as soon as the elemental mastery was put to the test with melt damage, the first First swing of the E did around a thousand extra damage. Also, when using his burst in a one-shot setup with Bennett's buff and the Veridus and Shred, my melt proc reached over a hundred thousand damage, which is a difference of six thousand with the attack percent build. As I mentioned earlier, since I'm showcasing near-perfect endgame builds, switching to elemental mastery won't necessarily bring you the same result. However, if you're in a situation where the Deluke relies on elemental reactions, which is often the case, you should definitely try to shift your focus to at least get some elemental mastery substats, but crit rate and crit damage are still a top priority. For players that still haven't figured out their entire build, it is probably safer to go the attack percent route on the sand piece before making the switch, because figuring out the right amount of crit multipliers is a bigger priority in my opinion. For fellow late game players, once your build is near completion, I think that focusing on crit rate and crit damage is still extremely valuable, but making the switch to an elemental mastery main stat may be a much better investment than running an attack sense. As long as you can stay above 2000 attack, which is fairly easy if you have the Wolf's Gravestone or another high base attack weapon, I believe that EM will become increasingly important as it doesn't suffer from the same diminishing returns of attack percent. So what can you take away from this? Well to sum it up, I think the decision to run elemental mastery on your timepiece rather than attack percent will all depend on your current stat and build. This is why I would only recommend using an elemental mastery main stat if you're in the late game with a near finished build. The reason why I say that is because most people don't have good enough crit rate to crit damage ratio which is far more important even when it comes to melt and vaporize comps. I think this type of build is much more accessible and valuable for players that have good crit multipliers and enough attack to compensate for the addition of elemental mastery. Now that's gonna be it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if this helped you in any way, and I will see you guys in the next one, peace.